All right, I purchased an application yesterday to print CD labels, DVD labels from Discotech. Um, and so I printed one yesterday. Thank you very much, Discotech. It was, worked really well um, if I made my own image with text on it. I couldn't add text. But day two, I come in and it continued to use the trial version. Okay, but now I want to create a project and I'm going to want to print, and I'm going to print a blank label. I know that sounds silly, but I'm going to do it. And here we go, file print, and print. And you must buy this software. Day two. So much for the trial period. Well, all right. Well, let's just see how much it is. And here we go. We have, what, $29 for business, $24 for individual or home use. Hmm. Sounds a little expensive. Day two. So I'm going to have to say no to that. Thank you, Disc Attack, for one, a trial period and the watermark. So thank you very much. And no, I'm not going to buy it. So what I do, what do I do in uh, placement of buying that uh, software? Um, guess what? I'm going to create my own. So I've got a cats in a cradle, uh, cats in a cradle, cats in a circle. Um, image that I'm going to create on this template. I basically scanned in uh, my label, my sticky label, uh, before of course before I peeled them off, and um, I'm going to go ahead and create my own. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, bring in an image. I do have some extra things I'm going to show you in a minute, but I'm going to bring in my image first. So file, place, and my cat's in a circle. And now I'm going to position it and make it larger um, and change the opacity so you can see the uh, template in the background. But here we go. There I am going to get it, make it larger and I'm going to position it just right. And so here we go. Got it positioned just right. I press enter to place. And by the way, anything I'm doing here can be done in any photo editor. I'm just choosing Photoshop for now. So right now I'm going to, uh, I could leave it like this and just print and just peel it off. But I'm going to save some ink and crop out what I don't need. Um, so here I'm going to do is I'm going to draw me a little circle. and try to position it and make it large. As you can see, I already need to move my image, but that's all right. I can do that in a minute. And so here we go. I'm going to add a, a mask. And that mask, oh, so first select uh, yeah, inverse select, or select inverse. And then I'd create my mask, and then now I can uh, crop everything out that I don't need. And as you can see, there is a bottom portion missing, so I will edit that here um, and reposition and resize my image. It would have been better if I would have just repositioned the image, but here I'm just resizing it, uh, which means then I'm going to also have to cut out some more of the image. Again, I could leave it. That's not, not much ink loss. All right, once I'm happy, I'm still editing the position and repositioning it even more. Looking back on this, I'd probably uh, start over and redo it because right now I'm having to redraw the circle to crop out. I'm just going to do the right side and then do the left side. You'll see it looks a little, it'll look a little jakey because I can't, oop, forgot to select inverse, so let me do that. And now I'm going to crop out the extra. And right there, you can see it's just a little bows out a little bit. Now I'm going to move using my arrow key once I get on the pointer. I need to make sure I'm on the pointer and crop out that side. So that's it. That well, looks pretty good. So now I'm going to duplicate layer. Oh, no, I wanted to show you the, the opacity. Uh, 
but bring it back down because I'm going to duplicate layer, bring it over to the left bottom side, and need to see the template on that side too. So, I'm cropping just a little bit more out because I just want to make it look better. So, here, layer, duplicate, not delete because all that work would be gone. And here we go. Drop it over here. And I'm going to have to take out some of the extra. So make sure I'm on the uh, the mask. There I go. And make sure I'm on the right one. I'm going to take out this extra line. And go to the mask of the other layer. And take out that extra. Oh, that's part of my screen. Don't worry about that. There's some extras. So there we go. That's it in a nutshell. Um, so all I have to do is file print. Uh, you may have to change your orientation. Um, in this case, I don't think I had to. It was already set to uh, landscape versus portrait. And just to show, to prove it, oh, I'm moving down. Sorry, I forgot I did this step. I'm moving down the uh, um, the layers so the text will be on the top. And I'll show you what the text does. And just in case you want to add text. I don't, but it, it does it. So I took out the template lines. I now want to, oops, wrong thing to do. I need to take out the text. And now I want to change the opacity back to 100%. Because if I don't do that, it'll bleed through, I guess. So 100% please, there we go, boom, and the other layer, 100%. Of course now here's where I'm ready, I'm happy, yeah, it's a little jakey, but you know, hey it works. File print, all the way at the bottom. And then you'll see your landscape choice, and yes I want to be landscape versus portrait. And then I would just click print. And that's it in the nutshell. Happy printing of labels.